Let's talk a little women's college basketball tonight. Not Caitlin Clark, but rather the soothing tones of Kim Mulkey. Is she going to... I'm not... Have you decided I'm, if she's going to the Cayman Islands yet? If I have, I wouldn't tell you. Okay. You're not entitled to that information. There's also what's called the sacredness of a locker room. Have any of y'all ever been in a locker room as a student athlete at the college level? Raise your hand. Oh, that's just Kim Mulkey packing on the charm as she treats the LSU media like a class of third graders after, after they dared to ask repeated questions about the unexplained and frankly kind of weird four-game absence of Tiger star Angel Reese. Now, this wasn't Mulkey harassed and exasperated. It wasn't Mulkey at the end of a harrowing ordeal. This was classic Kim, Kim Mulkey treating a press conference like a bully pulpit and the press corps with contempt. I am not a fan. Maybe there's another side to her. Maybe there's a secret wink that I'm missing. But from this perspective, she is Karen's wicked stepmother. She doesn't have any call to act this way. She is wealthy, powerful, and accomplished. She's run national championship programs in Waco, Texas, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana, two small media markets where reporters have to stay in the good graces of the coaches or risk being cut off from all there is to report on. Angel Reese is the most valuable player for the defending national champs, one of the most visible athletes in America. And she was gone for four games. Fans wanted to know what was going on, and so the media was doing its job and asking her coach about it during a press conference. Angel Reese also has an NIL valuation of close to $2 million a year, so the fans who contribute to LSU's collective and her commercial sponsors have some questions and some rights to answers. But even though Reese didn't have her teams back, Kim Mulkey's got hers. Heck, Mulkey is happy to do it. She's as cuddly as a cactus, as charming as an eel. She's a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Heck, she even kind of looks the part. Thanksgiving is over, but I'm going to add a few more items to my list anyway. I am thankful I've never had to cover her for a living. Heck, I'm thankful I've never had to sit behind her on the plane. I am thankful for better examples of people in the world of women's college basketball. Examples like we have here in this state. Lisa Bluter, Bill Fenley, another good example. Jenny Baranchek down at Oklahoma now, and so many others. It just doesn't have to be this way. I'm Andy Fails, and that's what's bugging me.